Hi friends. Today we're going to be learning about and reviewing some um, about place value of whole numbers and place values of decimals. Okay, so the first thing I want you to notice um, in your notes packet, um, you have this place value reference chart. So this is yours to use at any point in time. If you need to come back and you need to create our little placeholders, you can always come back and use this chart. So this is um, a tool for you to always um, reference. The other thing that's on here <clears throat> is a reminder for us when we're talking about different ways that we can write a number. We see that we can always write a number in standard form which means I'm writing it actually in numbers. Expanded form shows addition. And if we're talking about word form, we're actually writing it out in words. So this is all just a little review for us. Okay, also a little bit of a review <clears throat> is going to be whole number place value. So we're just going to do a few of these together real fast. And remember in our notes videos, um, we're always going to have to um, together problems and you try problems. So we're going to do um, these first four problems together and then you'll do the bottom two by yourself. Okay, so the first thing we want to know is what is the value of the four? So I'm going to find the four and I know that the four is in the 10,000 place value. So if it's in the 10,000 place value, it's going to be 4 times 10,000. So I know the value of the 4 is 40,000. How about the value of the 5? So the first thing I need to know is know my place value chart. So I know my place value chart, that 5 is in the 1's spot. So the value of the 5 is going to be 5 times 1, which is 5. So the value of the 5 is 5. Now I want to know <clears throat> the place value of the 2. So I find that my 2 is in the 100,000 spot. So I've got thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So I'm going to say that the place value of the two is hundred thousands. The place value of the seven, so I'm finding the seven, I know that this is ones and this is tens. So the place value of the seven is tens. Okay, so now you are going to pause the video and you are going to try the you try problems and then I'll come back and tell you what the answers are. And remember, anything that we're writing down as an answer together, we're doing it together, so that means you should be filling it out in your notes packet. Okay, so go ahead and pause your video and then um, I'll come back on and we'll see if you get the right answers. All right, the value of the nine. So I know that my nine right here is in the hundred spot. So a hundred is worth a hundred. So the value of the nine, you should have 900. Place value of the six is going to be in the thousand spot. Okay, so that's just a little review for whole number place value. Now, same thing's gonna happen with decimal place value. So the most important thing we need to remember, and remember we have our place value reference chart if you need to use it. So we're going to be talking about now with decimals, we're going to be focusing in on everything to the right of the decimal point. So our place values for decimals are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So we're going to be focusing on these numbers to, again, to the right of the decimal point. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, and again, remember we talked about standard form, expanded form, and word form. <clears throat> so here's my number that I have in standard form. 2 and 
3,651 ten thousandths. So I'm going to use my place value chart to write in my two. Whenever I see a decimal point, a decimal point means I say and. So I have two and 3,651 ten thousandths. Okay, so we'll use this as an example. And now we're going to fill one in ourselves. We're going to do this one together here. So I have 1 and, I'm just going to fill it in my place value chart, 51 hundredths. Notice whatever place value I'm in is the word I say at the very end of my decimal. So 1 and 51 hundredths. I'm in the hundredths place, so that's what I have to say at the end. In our example up here, we were in the ten thousandth spot. So when I say my number out loud, I say two and three thousand six hundred fifty-one ten thousandths. Okay? So for practice, we're going to write this out in expanded form as a, a review for um, what expanded form means. So I'm going to see some, you got it, addition signs. So I'm going to say 1 plus 5 tenths, I write as this, and then hundredths, I'm going to need a 0 and a 1. So again, if I do this problem over here and line up my decimals when I'm adding, 5 tenths and hundredths, and I can put zeros in as placeholders, I see that I end up with 1 and 51 hundredths. So again, in word form, I have 1. What do I do with my decimal point? I say and, 1 and 50, 1, F-I-F-T-Y, that would be good if you spelled it right, Hook. 1 and 51 hundredths. So I'm changing from standard form into word form here. And we're rocking out our place value chart. So again, if you need to use your place value chart, that is yours to use as many times as you need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna do, um, sorry, you are, um, you are going to try these by yourself now and then I'll come back on and we'll check your answers. Actually, we'll do the first one together. I changed my mind. We'll do the first one together. 107 and 51 hundredths. So I know, we'll color code this. Anything in green is a whole number, and in orange is a decimal. So I need to first know, how do I write 157? Well, I can use my little place value thing down here. Hundreds, one, 107, so I'm going to write 107, then I've got my decimal point, 51 hundredths. So if I write 51, I know that I'm going to have two spots because I'm ending in the hundredths place value. So I know I'm going to have 51. So in standard form, I write this number as 100 seven and 51 hundredths. So I can see that my two colors match up there. Okay, now you do, you pause your video now and you will try questions two and three and we'll come back on and check your answers. All right, let's see how we did here. I know that my whole number is going to be a four. I'm gonna put a decimal point. I see that I have thousandths, so I know that I need to have three numbers past my decimal point. So 973 thousandths. So I know that's going to look like 973 thousandths. And that looks right. And our other one that we're going to check, so you should have seven, a decimal point. 
58 ten thousandths. So ten thousandths tells me I'm going to have four numbers behind my decimal point. So I'm going to have 458 ten thousandths. So this one's tricky. 58. So I know my 8 has to go here. So I'm really going to need to have a 0 right here. So now when I read the number, I'm going to read 7 and 458 ten thousandths. If you put an answer down that looked like this, you really only said 7 and 458 thousandths, and we wanted 10 thousandths. So hopefully your answer looked like this. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson for a little review on whole number place value and with um, decimal place value up to the 10 thousandths. Um, tomorrow we will have some bell work over this. And then we will go from there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.